The Cytec switch panels are a popular accessory for home flight simulators. This video will show one example for installing the switch panels. Part 2 of this video will show a slightly more complex installation. Each Cytec switch panel comes with a plastic housing you can use to attach to the top of a yoke or to another switch panel. Is there a more sturdy and realistic way to install these switch panels? Certainly. You can attach them to a wood board as a part of a home cockpit. This gives you the flexibility to position the panels exactly where you need them. Some of the DIY flight sim projects already have a 1x6 or 1x4 board you can use for this. First, identify where you want your switch panels located. You can see I'm just using printed pictures for this step. You want the panels to be even. It helps to draw a horizontal line to align the top two screws from each panel. One thing you'll need to consider is the USB cable. You will need to drill a hole through the board to let this cable pass through. However, the cable is in a different location on each switch panel. So I made this handy handout for you. It shows the location of the USB cable for the three most popular types of Cytec switch panels. This handout is free at the Roger Dodger website and the link is in the show notes. Measure and mark the locations of the USB cable for each switch panel and drill a hole with a 1 inch spade bit. This gives the USB cable plenty of clearance. Attach the switch panels with number 8 sheet metal screws 2 inches long. Do not tighten them too much, just make them snug. Attach each panel with 4 screws. If you're close to the edge of the board, Drill a pilot hole first to prevent the wood from splitting. Remember, paint makes it great. So remove the switch panels, apply paint to the board, and then reattach the panels after the paint dries. In the next video, I'll show you how to mount the Cytec switch panels in more difficult locations.